How are you feeling? I feel great, man. That coffee shot was perfectly what I needed. But also, at the end of the day, I'm just ready to step on stage, ready to have fun with my friends. I'm just ready to eat, too. Eating. Oh, I'm so excited for this afternoon for Mexican food. It's going to be a great time. How are you feeling, John? Nervous. Uh, don't shake your head at me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we ready. Taylor getting darker. Uh, yeah. That was nice. Because it's like so enlightening. It's heavy. But this right here is only the beginning. I'm afraid she just cater to her heart right now and just let her embrace this one. She's in the right. Amen. I think this. This day that comes now twice a year is always just a reminder to never just forget how far you know you've been able to come. Um, we've been to every single summer shredding since July of 2018, the first ever one that I competed in for my first ever show. You know, from the outside looking in, it just looks like bodybuilding show. Yet, the significance that it brings to not only myself, but our athletes and our culture, it genuinely, genuinely changes lives. Like, this, it, this journey is what, is what changes lives. You know, the slight glimpse of seeing your fullest potential. Seeing yourself get uncomfortable and fully express yourself and be so goddamn proud of how far you've been able to come. It, it's, it's that feeling that genuinely changes lives, man. You know, this all started with a, a dream in my fucking dorm room. You know, watching Christian Guzman you know, compete himself and document that series. And literally just be able to see how much that has impacted him and see how that has brought together a community of people that are incredibly inspired. You know, it only takes seeing one person open their own door for you to get eager to open your own. And I think that's why this show is so goddamn special to our team and to our culture. And first and foremost, it opened that door for me back in college when I knew that fitness was something that I really, really wanted to pursue. I just looked at summer shredding and I was like, yes, I want to push myself towards that. Because I know for a fact that I love this and I want something that's going to challenge me and ultimately give me that feeling and sense of accomplishment. Because up until that point, I felt like I was really not working towards much. I was going to college and plan was to graduate and fulfill the destiny that my parents set out for me wanting to be their, their first kid to graduate school, graduate college. You know, this whole time, you know, I was saying, fitness is my passion, fitness is my passion. And that opened the door for me to go out there and chase something. You know, since that, it, it brought me a feeling that I will never, ever, ever, ever forget simply because it opened the door for me to say, oh my God, this is fucking awesome. I can discipline myself towards something, I can work towards something, I can accomplish something, I can write a contract with myself and fulfill that destiny that I've sent out for myself. And during the process, inspire others to do the same. From the moment that I got off that stage in 2018, I told myself I was going to come back the following year and bring some clients to And Throughout that two-year process between 2018 and 2020, the reason why 2020 summer shining was such a significant moment is because I set out the goal to say, hey, I'm not just going to do summer shredding again, but I want to bring a team with me. I want to bring a family with me. I want to bring a community of people with me. Because summer shredding not only just opened the door for me to step on stage and see what was possible, but it connected me with individuals that instilled belief in me. I wouldn't be here without the people I was literally sitting there backstage with, man, in, in this exact fucking room. Because that was the first time in my life that I was around people that were like just holding cameras and like vlogging and just doing this. And like, I'm fucking so grateful for that. Cause it's 
it's so easy to shrink yourself, so easy to not believe that you can do it, man. And like genuinely, I just want to. You could be that person, there could be one person out there that you see doing it, and it gives you the belief to say, hey, I can do this too. Like, I want to be here without summer shredding, not only just because of the fact that it's up on stage, but I got to see others do what deep down I wanted to do. And it instilled the belief and the confidence in me to go after it. So seeing that, I was like, I want to bring together a community of people that need one another. I want to bring together a group of people that are going to inspire one another and uplift one another and feel like they're not alone. Like, feel like their goals mean something, they matter. I feel like it's not, you know, completely abstract to chase after this thing or not. Or feel like you have actually people to grow with. You know, seeing the power of community that Christian Summer Shred and Neil bring together year after year, I'm like, I can't believe it. You know, that's what you know what to do and I could not be more grateful for that. You know, it's year after year, this is something that brings together our culture and our community so, so much and empowers one another to say, hey, you, you don't want to compete, look what's possible. You know, look what you can do. And that's that's everything, man. It's everything that matters to us and Beyond Built. Like, and everything is more than just stepping on stage. It's more than just a trophy. It's about putting yourself through a process, believing in yourself day in, day out, doing the hard shit. You don't want to fucking do it. And ultimately, feeling what it feels like to inspire others during that process. You know, that's that's the win. That's what we're all after. So the significance of summer shredding is everything to us. Genuinely everything to us. And I'm just so fucking grateful for this event, these people. That's all that's we're doing. Work. Yeah, not, that's all we're fucking not, doing. You're not gonna do cardio. You're not gonna make you fucking hold your poses <laughs> for 30 minutes after every session this next week. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, you're gonna eat a shit ton of food tonight, and then we're gonna deplete again on Monday, and you're gonna be fucking shredded next weekend. Yep. And we're gonna qualify for nationals. Yes, we are. You're the only one in that class that's qualifying for nationals next fucking week. That's real. Goddamn right. That's real. You fucking improved a shit ton. It's, it's frustrating annoying. as shit, though. It's annoying. Second place. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. It's just today. It's fucking not. I got a way better shape than that fucker. He held his poses better though. Well, it's made it easy. Don't, don't forget the fucking texture sauce. Huh? Don't forget the texture.
in seventh place, 254, Aaron Huss. Winning your class C today, 250, Matt Saxon. Jeff, let's get a picture in with Christian and Miller, please. Thank you. You have to stay right there and stay right there. Did it. I, I honestly think if, if Aaron, he had the size on me, if he came in leaner, he, I think he would want it. Just a little bit more. Well, right. Just a little bit. Well, hey, man. It gives us, it no, gives us, it gives no, us the, I, I, I told him. Work for, you know? Exactly, exactly. But You've been in the over, overall battle, what, two years ago before coming back yeah. here? So do you feel like because you were that close, you're like, fuck this, because I'm this close, I gotta fucking check off that one. So that was a, that, that was a big part of it, and I didn't. It's weird, like I didn't think of it like that, but like now that you say that, that is a big part of it. Like I, I felt like I had to beat myself because I didn't feel fully, I guess like, happy with the end result. So I was, I was hungry to complete the task, essentially, right? So I think that brought me back and I do want my pro card eventually. So that's obviously a big thing there. And I think this is a good experience show to do, like a, you know, a solid warm up show for more experience. And um, I, th I think I'm gonna compete again in two or three weeks here, so. You need to get them for, for an NPC show in two to three weeks. I'm, I'm this lean anyway, but Bosler just. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I'm fucking mad. Appreciate it, man. I'm excited, man. Let's fucking eat, baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Congrats. I went to shower, too, man. I, fucking, I haven't showered in two days. <laughs> it goes through my fucking head, man. I will re replay. If we get the result that we didn't want, I will replay every single move in my head. 100x. And, like, Fucking pick apart myself like a goddamn motherfucker. Yeah. But if, if we're not both like that, fuck else, what are we doing? I agree. You know? Yeah. But like, we the peak are. went, like, we absolutely did the very best we fucking could. Oh, yeah, we peaked perfectly. <laughs> yeah. You know, bro. Dude, we're gonna. <gasps> Next week's gonna be funny. Next week's not actually gonna be funny. Yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna push hard. Let's do it. We're gonna push hard and late Loja qualify for goddamn nationals. Let's do it. We're gonna be here every single fucking year, man. Every single year. Every single year. And like, no matter what happens, we bring a group of people, and every time they walk out that door, they're smiling. They're on top of the world. They feel like they accomplished everything. They feel like they just fulfilled a dream of theirs. You know, the doors that's gonna unlock for them. It's really cool to fucking see. It's really cool to fucking see. It's a cool little reminder.